Hey there artists. So we are going to finish up our watercolor painting of the harvest um, inspired by Vincent Van Gogh. So you will be getting your poem back that you created um, after looking at the painting. And now you're going to write it onto your art using a fine tip marker. Now the reason we do this poem is because Vincent van Gogh wrote about his art in his letters and we're trying to connect and really experience what it's like being an artist like van Gogh. So you're going to get your paper back of your poem and the only part I want you to focus on is the part where you wrote your answers. So now we are no longer worried about this painting feels like, this painting smells like, this painting tastes like, this painting sounds like, or this painting looks like. You are just going to take what you wrote and write it on your art. So I'm going to take dried hot glue on dinner table and write it somewhere. Use your best handwriting. Then the next one, turpentine. If you don't know what turpentine is, it is the liquid you use to clean paint brushes when you're painting with oil paint because oil paint does not clean out with water. Stuffed baked potato. and you can put it anywhere. Still humid air. I'm actually gonna put it this way. And then the last one, views of long drives to Houston growing up. I'm gonna put that one up here. Perfect. Now, the last piece is you can outline the frames. You wanna keep a very steady hand as you do this. And if you forgot to make a frame, you can just outline your drawing. It'll give it a very nice clean effect. And then something else you can do is outline your shapes if you want. Uh, it might take it away from the painting. It just depends. You'll have to kind of visualize what it is. Um, you can outline a few things in your painting if you want. Once again, it just kind of depends um, if, you, if you like the watercolor effect and it just looking the way it is or you do want some things to stand out. But um, those are some extra things you can do. But your requirement is write out your poem and outline your art and give it like a frame look. Anything else beyond that you can do if you want, which is outline the shapes and maybe outline some things in your painting.